So hi everyone, today's topic is going to be how to deal with self-doubt. I just came back from Barcelona from a conference and during the conference and I would say in the last couple of weeks I've been really bothered by crippling self-doubt. And so there is the temptation there of this positive thinking of thinking yes everything is going to be fine you just have to believe it fake it till you make it and I don't like that I don't like this trend this idea of consciously manipulating your beliefs to achieve a certain outcome if you follow Peterson you will be sympathetic to the idea that truth is the, the best approach but what's interesting about self-doubt is that think about it this way if you are in your domain of expertise if you know something very well and if you keep just talking and acting within that realm then you're an expert and people can trust what you say and you don't have to deal with self-doubt but a leader is something different than an expert a leader is someone who is outside of this domain in a domain of unknown and in a domain where probably there is no expert there is no one who can say this is exactly how it works and if you as a person even though you don't know exactly the right way the right approach the approach that will work 100 percent you stand up and say there is a mountain over there let's let's try and go there that's called being a leader so almost by definition leadership has to do with self-doubt unless you're a fool you are aware that there is no guarantee that what you're trying will work and so how to deal with this that's the question and i think there is a subtle point which is yes there is no certainty yes you have to ask yourself from time to time do I keep going or do I give up these are legitimate questions but the crippling feelings of anxiety of fear of insecurity kind of the, the depressive aspect of these doubts you don't have to welcome that in your life you don't have to accept that and this is kind of something that I discovered in the last few days what you just heard is my best conceptualization about dealing with self-doubt but it's something that came out of a process that is way less rational so I want to share with you the process I went through I talked about this process in other videos as well so imagine that there is something that you don't yet understand the interesting thing is you still have the tools to approach that but they are maybe not familiar with you because they are tools that reside in, in your right brain hemisphere which is not where your rational language based thinking comes from so it's this kind of imaginative dreamy visionary thing and that approaches things in patterns and images and analogies so that's what I did I was feeling this anxiety and I said okay let's try to approach this with active imagination which is Jung's technique to do this and I went to the beach close by and I, I just sat down and relaxed and I let this right part of my brain continue its activity without a lot of control and I have to say it kind of sorted itself out on its own and I started feeling better how I do this is I take my notebook and I kind of close my eyes I get quiet and I go into this realm of imagination and I ask a question so I kind of imagined asking God for help and for me God comes up as an image of a mandala in the sky a source of benevolence a source of meaning and I saw this mandala and a, kind of an old man in in the desert and I was filled with this feeling of anguish and I kind of thought with all your benevolence you cannot save me from death because even you died something like that and and then this image came up of 
a group of people all hanging together and trying to survive and kind of a ball inside of darkness and the people at the boundaries kind of floating into the darkness and inside the darkness this big monster and then I had this vision of inside of this circle of people kind of a, a king emerging and the king had certain features uh, of attention, courage, truth and benevolence and the symbol emerged of this king that represented kind of its features but as I was kind of navigating my inner world this image appeared of this big mother in the sky uh, the origin of everything but also the, the monster that will take us back in the end from which we cannot escape I have this image sometimes of the night sky the whole universe being a big mouth huge endless mouth into which we will kind of fall back when we die but here it, uh, this is the point um, a kind of a, like a positive masculinity is when you see that as something that you don't want to go back to it's something that in the end will give you the the rest of the hero but you are not longing for it you are resisting it until the bitter end as i talk about this these are not just concepts this is a state of mind this is um i, I really I, maybe it's not politically correct but i cannot describe it in a different way than a kind of a positive heroic masculinity as i embody this feeling of stay away i'm not going to look into your eyes and i'm not going to let you kind of you know like swallow me then suddenly if i go back to the self-doubt issues i feel like i'm kind of on the top of a horse i'm like yes we have to accept there is no guarantee in fact there is a guarantee that we will lose whatever you do you will lose the great mother is overpowering and there is nothing we can do about it but not yet stay there at the distance we are here in this world right now it's imperfect but we don't have to feel victimized by it we can kind of pull ourselves up and fight and so really we can split uncertainty from this crippling feeling i'm not going to take it i'm not going to accept that the the entity within me that wants me to feel this way is not my friend so stay away